And we begin tonight at 6 with the city of Fairhope. It is now considering a ban against sleeping in cars or on the streets. Residents say it is a growing problem. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro joins us live from Fairhope tonight with the details behind this new proposed ordinance. Nicole? Kim and Greg, please say it's a growing public safety concern, primarily putting community members at risk right here at the city's greatest vantage point. Fairhope, a city known for its charm and tranquility, the place where you teach your grandkids how to catch their first fish, recently known for something else. We have had uh, people um, even sleeping down here on the beach in their cars. And I know a couple of times when I was running, somebody would be on the bench and they'd holler at me. Hmm. And uh, I told the police about it. Fairhope police say there's a growing number of calls about people sleeping in public and current city ordinances don't allow them to address it. They proposed an ordinance that would make it illegal to sleep in your cars or out in public from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. From RVs parking in, the, in this very parking lot to uh, people sleeping in sleeping bags and, and sleeping on benches. Council President Jack Burrell hopes this ordinance could give officers a better way to connect with those who are sleeping on the streets. He also wants it to protect community members and visitors. There's been some alcohol involved. There's been some drugs involved. We don't want to be the Gestapo and start arresting people. Uh, I know that the police are, are highly involved with trying to help the homeless. For people at home, the ordinance says visitors can park and live in an RV on your property for up to 14 days. That's a little far-fetched. That's too much. If yeah. it's somebody's private uh, place, that's not affecting the public land. I think it's good. A violation would be a ticket, but repeat offenders could go to jail. And this is going to be introduced at the next city council meeting. If it is voted in, it could go into effect within the next four to five weeks. Greg and Kim? Nicole, it certainly sounds like it could be pretty restrictive. What about kids who want to have a backyard camp out? Are those banned? Greg, the proposal would allow for two nights in a tent in the backyard, but no more than that.